Don't just sit here in front. Boys and girls, good to have you here today. I want to ask you a question because I know each of you have a friend. Tell me something about what makes for a good friend. Yeah. Care, all right? They care for you? Yes. Love? What else do you know about friends? I presume you all have one. Anybody else? What makes for a friend? Sharing? Love, care, and sharing. Anything else? They make you laugh. Friends make you laugh. Today we hear a story that Jesus is traveling and he goes to the home of two of his friends. Do we ever think about Jesus having friends? Because that's what the story is about today. And they have two names and their names are Martha and Mary. Hey Jay, how are you? Glad you could join us. So they went to visit two of his friends named Martha and Mary. And so sometimes I don't know if we think about Jesus having friends. But they were real important for him. He went so he could sort of hang out and sort of relax. And he, so he went to visit them. And then we had a couple things that happened. And they were sisters. And sometimes, you know, when sisters or brothers, we get aggravated with one another, don't we? Yeah, we do. And so sort of that's what happens. So they have all these people at their house. And Martha starts complaining to Jesus. We got another buddy. How are you? <laughs> See, they all just keep coming because it's just sort of like they gathered around with friends today. So Martha was sort of complaining. Has anybody like lately said to mom or dad, tell my brother or sister to do this. Tell them to help clean up. Tell them to do this. Any of you do that? Trust me, you will later on in life, you know? <laughs> if you haven't now. And then oh, the other one, she didn't say it, but you know what I think she wanted to say? She's unfair. It's unfair that I have to do Any of you say unfair? Trust me. Well, somebody out there is telling me they say unfair. <laughs> you know, we say unfair when we think something's not going our way. What I've also learned sometimes is we never say unfair when things are going really well for us, do we? So we say that going unfair. And Jesus has to talk to her, has to say, you know, Martha, what you're doing is really important, but also what Mary is doing is really important. But sometimes you and I get caught up and worried about what somebody else is doing, so we like to go, that's unfair. They get to do something I don't. Or why do I have to do these things and they don't have to? So we want to say it. But sometimes it really is to listen about why we want to say that. But the last thing was that Mary spent a little time at Jesus' feet, just listening to him, just being quiet with him. And I have a little bet today, just the end, and that's what I think we all have to practice too. I have a bet with the deacon. See, I trust you all. And my trust is that we can be quiet for 20 seconds. And if we can, the deacon's gonna give me a donut. <laughs> and if we can't, I gotta wash his car. <laughs> so I'm counting on you, okay? I don't wanna wash the car, but I'd love another donut. So we're gonna be quiet together, and I want you to think about Jesus and the friendship, okay? And this is my little prayer, my little prayer tool. We're gonna just be quiet for 20 seconds, and we're gonna ask Jesus to be with us in the quiet of our hearts, okay? for the donut. <laughs> Deacon Bob, we have some future for our contemplative prayer group right here. Start them young. Boys and girls, thank you very much. So we have Jesus has friends. 
Sometimes we get in arguments with one another because we think that something's not going right. But also just to spend 20 seconds with Jesus to be quiet each day. Doesn't get better than that, does it? Thanks for your time. Why don't you go back to mom and dad now. See you, Jake.